Hello and welcome back. In this video we are going to explore how to utilize widgets to add content to our sidebars and footer. Widgets are standalone blocks of content that can be added to any widgetized area your theme provides. Widgetized areas are typically the left and right sidebars as well as the footer of the site. Currently on the left we have the search widget, recent posts widget, recent comments widget, archives widget, and so on. In the footer, we have a page list widget. To access the widgets subpanel, hover over the quick access toolbar, then click widgets. Alternatively, you can access the widget subpanel by hovering over appearance and then selecting widgets. In the widget subpanel, you can add, delete, edit, or rearrange the widgets. On the left is a list of available widgets, and on the right you can see an overview of the widgetized areas, as well as the widgets in those areas. The list of widgets and the number of widgetized areas will vary depending on the theme you are using. It's also worth noting the names of widgetized areas may be named differently. We are currently using the default WordPress theme called 2014, and this theme comes with a custom widget called 2014 Ephemera. This theme supports three widgetized areas, the primary sidebar, content sidebar, and footer widget area. The primary sidebar refers to the area on the left of the theme, and the content sidebar refers to the right side of the theme. Currently the right sidebar isn't showing because we do not have any widgets in that area. The footer widget area corresponds to the bottom of the site, currently blank, also due to the widgetized area being empty. To edit the settings for a widget, simply click the down arrow on the right side of a widget. Let's open a new tab so we can view the front end of our website. Hover over your site name, right click on visit site, and open a new tab. On the left you can see the search widget, recent posts, recent comments, archives, categories, and meta. The display order of these widgets corresponds directly to the primary sidebar area you see. The search widget on the left does not have a title, so let's go ahead and add a title. Go back to the widget subpanel and expand the search widget. Enter a title and click save. Go to the front end of your site and refresh the page. The search widget now has a title. To add a widget, simply drag the widget into the area you prefer. Or you can click on a widget and from the pop-up menu, choose the widget's destination and then click Add Widget. The display order of widgets can be rearranged by dragging and dropping them into a new order. Or you can drag them into a new area. To delete a widget, simply drag the widget into the available widgets box, or you can expand the widget settings and then click delete. If you just want to deactivate the widget without losing widget settings, drag it to the inactive widgets area. To reactivate the widget, simply drag it back. Let's refresh the front end of our website and have a look at the changes we've made so far. As you can see, the sidebar on the left only contains the search, categories, meta, and calendar widgets, while the recent posts, recent comments, and archives widgets have been moved to the footer. We'll also add some content to the right sidebar. Go back to the widget subpanel and drag the 2014 ephemera widget into the content sidebar. This widget allows us to display selected post formats. For this widget, we are going to display video posts. Enter a title, set the number of posts you'd like to show, choose the video format, and save. Refresh your site and you should see the widget active in the right sidebar. One thing to remember is widgets are not single use meaning you can drag the same widget into any areas as many times as you like. 
For example, we'll drag another 2014 ephemera widget into the content sidebar, but this time we'll set post formats to display audio posts. Hit save and refresh your website. You'll now see audio posts displayed within the widget. Go back to the widget sub panel and we'll have a look at the text widget. The text widget is extremely flexible. It allows you to add plain text as well as HTML. Some common applications for the text widget includes adding copyright messages, displaying a newsletter sign-up form, displaying social elements, or miscellaneous text, just to name a few. We'll add a bit of code to embed a tweet from WordPress.org. First, go to twitter.com slash WordPress. This is the official Twitter account for WordPress. Choose a tweet you like, click on more just under it, and then click embed tweet. Copy this code. Go back to the widget sub panel and drag a text widget into the content sidebar. Enter a title, then paste the code into the content field. Click save. Before we view our site though, let's also add in a copyright message in the footer. Expand the text widget in the footer area. If you don't have a text widget in the footer area, simply drag one over. Enter a title, then add a copyright message. Hit save, then refresh your website. We can see the tweet from WordPress is now displayed on the right sidebar, and the copyright message is now displayed in the footer. You may be wondering what the automatically add paragraphs checkbox is. Let me demonstrate. If you'll recall, the editor for posts and pages had two editing modes, visual and text. The text widget is essentially a simplified text editor which means any formatting of the text will require code. Let me demonstrate. I'll add a new text widget to the content sidebar and place it at the top. Then I'll enter a title and paste some content I prepared earlier. The text looks quite messy at the moment, so I'll tidy it up quickly. The formatting of the text looks okay now, but let's see what happens when I save it and refresh the website. Even though we formatted the text properly in the widget settings, the text is still showing as one huge block of text. We can fix this by adding some simple HTML. This tag is called the paragraph tag, and it lets browsers know that the text contained within the tag is a paragraph. Let's view the site again. As you can see, the text is now formatted correctly. If you're not familiar with HTML or you dislike coding, then this is where the checkbox comes in handy. I'll go ahead and delete the paragraph tags, check the box, and refresh. As you can see, we do not have the paragraph tags anymore, but the text is still properly formatted. In a nutshell, the checkbox tells WordPress to automatically add paragraph tags every time it detects a blank line. Now that you're familiar with widgets, in the next video we are going to learn how to customize the menus on your website. <music>